Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to expose MFA app project, not as, as a whole, but only this to-do list module. We'll expose this and we will consume that to-do list module in the host app in the next video. But in this video, we are going to expose this to-do list module.ts file. For this, I have created a branch called expose MFE app, which you can get over the GitHub repo. The link of the repo you can find in the description of this video. Now let's see how we can expose MFE app to-do list model. If you remember, we ran the commands that we have written in commands.txt. One of the command was ng add at the rate angular architects forward slash module federation and then the project name in our case it is MFE app with port 4300. When we ran this command, a file that is webpack.config.js has been created inside this MFE app. Same has happened with host app. But currently we need to focus on MFE app. So we'll go inside this file and here we have module federation plugin which is provided by webpack5. Now we'll use this remote commented line it is by default you get when you run that command that is ng add angular architects one. Now here we'll uncomment this four line. The first line is name, name of your micro frontend. So here we can give to do app, but here since our project name is MFE app, the default name is MFE app. So we'll keep it same. Similarly, there is a file name with which we will expose our modules. The default name is remote entry.js file and we can change it as per our requirement. But I am keeping the default name that is remote entry.js. Next is exposes object where we can expose multiple modules or components. In our case, we are going to expose module, not a component. So for that, we will write here to do module and we'll provide the path of the module that is it is inside projects mfe app source app and then to do list after that it is to do list module.ts now we'll save this file and all configurations are done now this to do list module has been exposed in a file with name remote entry.js it means whatever is inside to-do list module, it will be available in a file with a name of remote entry.js and it will be served in the same server with the same port that is 4300 because it is a part of MFE app. So let's check over the browser whether we are getting remote entry.js file or not. So here we'll just omit to-do list and write remote entry.js file. Before pressing enter, let me tell you that it will not work. As we can see, we are not getting anything. Why? Because we have done changes in a configuration file and configuration file changes reflect only when we restart the server. So let's restart the server and check again. For now, let me just load to do list and let's go to the project. Now we'll stop the server here and we'll start the server again with this new change in the config file. Server has been started. Now let's check whether we are getting remote entry.js file or not. For now, let's refresh the page and see if everything works. Out. So if I refresh the page, everything is working fine. And now if I write remote entry.js, we are getting a JS file which has all code related to to-do list module. If you go to the project, the to-do list module that is this one has been exposed with the name of to do module. So let's find this word in the remote entry.js file whether it exists there or not. Here we'll search with to do module. So here we can see that to do module has everything that is there in the to do list module.ts file. Now we'll discuss few more properties of this module federation plugin. Here we can see remotes. We use this remote property in our host app 
when we will consume this MFE app. So remote property gets used when we consume MFE from another server. Now we have a property called shared which is an object. Here we share common libraries. Common libraries means in between host app and MFE app in our case. Since both are in Angular, so both have Angular core common, common HTTP and router libraries. So when we load the MFE app in the host app, then we do not want to load the same library twice. And what this shared object does, it creates a single instance of each library that has been mentioned inside shared object. So if there are common libraries in between MFE and host, you can mention them inside shared object to create a single instance of those libraries. This is it for this video. I'll push the code in the branch expose MFE app and you will get the latest code in the master branch always. If you find this video benefited, please share it with your friends so that they will also get benefited. And do not forget to like this video. It motivates me to provide you the quality content. Also provide your feedback in the comment section or any query that you have regarding this video. I would love to help on your queries. Now let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing off.